This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a bit of a strange question here. Um, they've asked us to solve for c. So they say, what is the value of c? But it's in an interesting condition. It's when the roots of the equation are 5 and 3. And the weirdest part of this is the term roots, which is not a term that you hear very often. A root of an equation. Um, is a term typically used for a quadratic equation, which we happen to be dealing with here, because we have two binomials multiplied by one another. A binomial term has an x and a, and a number. So this is a binomial right here. So this becomes a quadratic equation. And it's only in this circumstance, really, that the term root has any meaning. So it's a pretty, pretty specific case that this word applies. Now, a root of an equation is simply the condition where plugging a number in for x yields a value of 0. So when they say it's a root, what they mean is this equation, 4 times x minus 5 times x minus 3 equals 0. And what we need to check here is, if I plug in 5 and 3, are those, in fact, roots of this equation? So let's try plugging them in and see what happens. If I plug in 5 for 0, we get 4 to the 5 minus 5 times 5 minus 3, or 4 times 0 times 2, which is equal to 0. So is 5 a root? Yes. Let's try plugging in 3 to see if that's a root. Uh, so I'm going to plug in 3 for x. 4 times 5 minus 3, sorry, that should be 3 minus 5 times 3 minus 3. And we'll end up with 4 times negative 2 times 0, which is equal to 0. So is 3 a root? Yes. And that's how we know that the value of c is, in fact, 0. And that is a strange, strange problem. But there you have it.